We know that B cells originate and mature in the bone marrow. In the previous video lectures, we also studied VDJ recombination. VDJ recombination occurs during the early development of B cells. The light and heavy chains are selected by gene rearrangement, and they together form the B cell receptors that are expressed on the cell membranes of the B cells. Recall that B cell receptors are also known as membrane bound immunoglobulins. This is because their structure is almost identical to the secreted antibodies. One difference is that B cell receptors have an extra protein sequence at the C terminal of each heavy chain. This sequence anchors B cell receptors to the B cell membrane. It consists of a transmembrane domain and a cytoplasmic domain. Note that these extra domains are absent in the secreted antibodies. Each mature naive B cell express membrane bound immunoglobulin M and membrane bound immunoglobulin D as its B cell receptors. Both of these receptors are of same antigenic specificity. This means both recognize the same epitope on an antigen. So, the function of these B cell receptors is to recognize and bind the specific antigen. For B cell activation, the nucleus of the B cell should get the signal that specific antigen has been recognized and bound by the B cell receptors. But the cytoplasmic tails of B cell receptors are very short. They cannot convey antigen recognition signal to the nucleus by themselves. Signal to the nucleus is conveyed by two accessory proteins, which are associated with these B cell receptors. These accessory proteins are Ig alpha and Ig beta. Together they form a heterodimer, held together by a disulfide bond. Ig alpha and Ig beta chains are glycoproteins, and, as you can see in the image, they are transmembrane molecules. Their extracellular portions consist of single Ig-like domain. This heterodimer conveys the intracellular signals indicating that antigen has been found. Note that Ig alpha and Ig beta molecules are expressed only in B cells. The designation Ig in these accessory proteins represents that these proteins are associated with the immunoglobulins. So, now we understand that B cell receptor complex is made up of a membrane bound immunoglobulin and Ig alpha Ig beta heterodimer. Antigen recognition and binding is performed by the membrane bound immunoglobulin that is, the B cell receptor. And, signal to the nucleus is conveyed by heterodimer, Ig alpha Ig beta. Another important requirement of B cell to generate the activation signal is that multiple B cell receptors must be brought close together on the surface of the B cell. Let's understand this by illustration. An antigen or pathogen generally has multiple copies of the same epitope on its surface. Each epitope can bind adjacent B cell receptors on one B cell. Once bound, surface B cell receptors begin to cluster. This process activates the accessory proteins Ig alpha and Ig beta and initiate the signaling process 